hello you're welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be solving the specimen paper on paper three paper three is spreadsheets and website authoring don't forget that this specimen paper is for the syllabus of 2023 upward so there is an opportunity for us to see the new pattern of questions so i want you to pay attention as we do this together so paper three spreadsheet and website authoring for today i'll be focusing on the web authoring part of this question so in the next video i will work on the spreadsheet aspect of this paper so it is a two hours 15 minutes paper and it's for examination from 2023 paper 3 okay now look at the information given the total mark for this paper is 70 okay then um let's go you have been supplied with the following source files spec disk spec invoice spec ssd spec style spec style one and spec web page dot htm task one evidence document create a new word process document make sure your name sender number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document so the first thing for us is to create uh, the evidence document okay good your name center number so add that three columns the name um, name center number like i usually use cn for center number and candidate number 001 okay so we have evidence one so let's go back to the question save this evidence document in your work area with the file name spec evidence followed by your candidate number and uh, um okay and center number so i go save it in my work area i have a work area let me create a new work area i'll call this work area two work area work area two okay work area two on the desktop Work area two. Work area two. I'll call it. I call it evidence document according to the instruction. Underscore center number. Underscore candidate number. Um. Then I have this. Then the next instruction is um. Tax two. Web page. A trainee has tried to create a web page and style sheets for Tawara Digital Storage TDS this must be suitable for uploading to a web server okay good now create a new folder called spec underscore html that's a new folder to create underscore so let me let me create the um folder I'll call it in my work area too according to the instruction no folder the instruction says i should call it um spec underscore html so i'll call it spec rename spec underscore html okay good so i have it this way what's the next instruction look at the following files and store them in your spec HTML. I have four of them: spec D, spec style, and spec with um, spec style and spec style one and spec web page. So I'll pick that from my source file. My source file is here. Okay. Spec. 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 Okay. I copy. Like. I put it in my okay good 
all right first thing first there was the next instruction open the file okay open the file spec disk.jpg in a suitable application reflect the image horizontally save this image as disk one in your spec html folder reflect the image horizontally so i go spec disk so i can open with depending on the type of um software you have on your computer in my case i would like to make use of uh paint let me see paint 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 okay if paint will be able to do that for me then um okay i have the zoom let me reduce it okay the question says i should in a suitable application reflect the image horizontally save this image as um okay disk one so to reflect horizontally that is flip horizontally okay good i've reflected it horizontally then save it as a disk one in the same folder spec html disk one so i come to file i mean save as as jpeg and i will locate that my folder and i should call it disk one disk one let me check the information disk one dot jpg dot jpg okay that is done there was the next instruction rotate the image disk one dot jpg 90 degrees clockwise save this image as disk 2 in your spec html so i'm going to open the image disk one and rotate it so you open with any kind of a software that can do that so let me still use paint and see whether paint can do that for me let me adjust the zoom okay good rotate i have done this okay rotate it clockwisely to rotate it clockwisely uh, rotate it clockwisely okay i think it's better for me rotate it clockwisely if it says clockwisely is going you know in this direction okay i've done that 90 degrees that's what i've just done save this image as disk 2 so i'll come save as jpeg and i'll call it disk 2 in the same folder spec html disk 2 the, the jpg okay what's the next instruction let me see the next instruction crop the image disk 2 so that all the solid state drive is visible with an equal amount of red background on each side crop it so that all the solid drive is visible so i go there all the solid side is visible again crop the image so that all the solid side drive is visible with an equal amount of red background on each side okay all the study so to crop it oh you say then i crop it with an equal equal amount until i have something like that so click on crop if it's not yet perfect you can still go to it and make sure you have equal amount okay equal amount of red i think it's so close like this okay good confirm the 
this image must be square. Do not distort the image. The add disk drive must not be visible. Okay. And save this as okay. Do not distort the image. The add disk drive must not be visible. So it is solid state drive that should be visible. Okay, this is very close now to what I should have. That is um okay one so close now okay so this is so close this is so close okay good this is close a square all right and you save this image as disk 3 so i go to file save as jpeg and i'm going to save it as disk 3 according to the instruction in the same folder good then what's the next instruction let's see resize the image disk 3 to become 600 by 600 and save this as image as peg ssd in your folder save this image as peg ssd okay now this is this disk 3 I should resize it according to the instruction 600 by 600 so to resize it is simple I can come and resize so you can pick resize from here depending on the kind of software you are using you can pick resize resize since the question gave it to you in pixel you click on pixel 600 by 600 so you can remove aspect ratio so that you can set the width 600 and the height 600 then let me confirm save this image aspect ssd the jpg so okay this okay i think this is better and you save it aspect in jpg spec ssd jpg according to the instruction good and i have that so what's the next instruction let's see display the content of your spec html folder showing the folder name image dimension all file name file extension and file sizes then you take a screenshot of this folder and place in your evidence document one as a one mark question so i'll go to the folder and display just like we did the other time ensure that nothing is seeding the file name folder name image dimensions file extensions okay so you right click and click on more and see file name type size dimension dimension okay good dimension is big which one again according to the instruction dimension file sizes okay file size at the dimension name the main dimension file names file extensions file extension file extension okay see okay so you can see dimension file extension size name file type so all of these are there then you take the screenshots as the instruction has asked so take the screenshot then you pick the folder name okay good everything is there and put it in that evidence document as evidence one so you have this then the next instruction the style sheet is not finished and contains a number of errors you are going to edit the style sheet make sure that you use the most efficient method all color code must be in hexadecimal take notes adding styles h4 h5 and h6 do not need defining make sure that your style sheet contains no html so let's go again the style sheet is not finished and contains number a number of errors 
you are going to edit the style sh sheet so the next thing is open the style sheet spec style dot css so at this junction we are going to launch our inspiration web and then the first thing to do is to go to site and open site browse where you have the folder uh, desktop work area 2 spec so this is good and we have that you can see these are all the files in the folder so having done this this is very important the next thing is to open the css according to the instruction let's see open the style sheet spec style spec style where is spec style okay you open it this is style sheet file you can see and the instruction has told us that it contains a number of errors looking at it here we'll see some errors there you can see table open but the curly bracket is not put you can see even the color all of them so we are going to edit this so let's go to the question and see so open the style sheet the specification for this style sheet are all table borders and green lines are visible first thing first all table borders and green line table borders is referring to the external uh, border and green lines referring to the internal border line so table will be the selector and for the green line td will be the selector so we need to do it to be solid and feasible so that's the first thing to do so they have told us in the instruction that we are going to edit the style sheet so then we go look at the style sheet is being displayed as though it's a normal test so we use this to do that so the first one which is table bring your cursor here and define a new uh, style come to no style so table comma cd so what are the things we are going to set let's look at the question let's look at the question let me remove the magnifier so that i can see this clearly okay table let's go to the question table borders and green lines are visible so i go there table border that will be on that border okay border table border and green lines are visible so for it to be visible we need to set that table border visible so if you look at what we have here okay we have table border visible table border visible so i'm going to use solid so that it can be visible you can see the sample what else this in the instruction visible okay then and solid what else so then after that the table for table table size 90 percent of the width of the browser window so table size okay that's the width okay and then from the question you see then for table the size is 90 percent of the width of the wind of the browser window and for the border it is solid we have done that and the width is two pixel if you see for the table data too it asks uh, for the border it is two pixels solid and border color is 80 80 0, 0. the same thing here so since they share the same properties here i'm going to set the same thing for them so i go that is a width and the border color 80 80 like width 
as two pixel two pixel and the border color since the color was given so i can put it 80 80 zero zero yes you can see that 80 80 zero zero so you start with hashtag to show that it is hexadecimal so i can set that then i think that one is is over then i say apply then i have okay so that is done for both table so i can do that and for the table the table size is 90 percent of the window only the table so i can place that one here only the table i go to format new style and i call the table and then that will be width table with table width i'm going to see that under um box table with a position layout is visibility table width okay this is table table width i'm going to put that there so for the the width of the table since the selector selected is table so we come to width according to instruction value and we pick percentage question says 90 percent if you click apply okay you will see what is generated okay what else um border collapse so come to table under border collapse what is the instruction saying border collapsed not collapsed so if it is not collapsed that means it is separate so border collapse will be separate okay what else is there any other thing there so we have done this we have done this we have done this we have done this border collapse we have done this so we can say okay so that is done for table so what else what's the next instruction then for uh see the table data so we are going to do the cell padding so let's go cd so we go to format new style cd then what are the properties to set the cell padding top 8 pixel cell padding that will be on the box okay cell padding for padding the question says top eight pixels so we'll pick top eight pixel but since we want to specify different uh, values for each so we are going to uncheck same for all eight pixel for top what about others left and right 20 left and right 20 left and right 20 then for bottom let's see the bottom for bottom is six pixels for bottom six pixels six pixels okay you can see that generated so we have done that okay i, th I don't think there is any other one here that we have not done from year to year so let me say okay apply okay good you can see that for the padding so then the next one is uh, we have done this the next one is all editing styles all editing styles will have this color and this font and don't forget the instruction set somewhere let me read it it said editing styles h4 h5 and a6 do not need defining so we are probably defining h1 to 3 so h1 to 3 so that is what we want to do now all editing styles have color in this order so h1 to h3 
I mean, yeah, H1, so H3, since the instruction says that we should not define styles for H4, 5, and 6. So we have H1 to 3. So let's go. H1 to 3. Format new styles. H1, H2, H3. Okay, what do they have according to the instruction? H1 to H3. Their color is blue as this component red this component and green this component so since the order of color is rgb red green blue so we'll look for full red red ff okay for the editing styles so we'll go to um fonts that will be color ff so i start with hashtag to show that it is exact decimal ff for red component and then for uh, green component to another ff then the blue component is zero zero okay then the font is times no roman but if this font is not available then times or if these fonts are not available the browser's default serif font so it's talking about serif font so i come to font serif font serif fonts okay this is serif fonts the question said times no roman if times no roman is not there so i'm going to edit it remove that times no roman if times no roman is not there then pick times if times is not there they pick the default serif fonts i think that is that then that is that so since each one has a different thing so i'm going to close that so i will say apply okay and that is what i have here then the next one is only h1 so i'm going to format new style h1 according to the instruction what is in h1 he has 48 point i that is the size 48 point i for h1 so 48 i'm going to put this 48 point 48 point i alignment is right for h1 alignment is right so 48 points so this will be pt alignment is right alignment do we have alignment here okay alignment text align will be right according to the instruction alignment right so we are done with h1 so i will say apply okay i'm done with h1 so the next thing is h2 so i'll come to format new style h2 I'll go to font what is the instruction 24 point i 24 point i 24 point i so set it to pt apply okay what's the next one for us h3 h3 come to format new style h3 font what are the properties to set that is 18 point i we have done this 18 point i so i'm going to 18 point i pt okay it's in point i that is that then a class called cyan there's a class called cyan and it has color of this that is zero zero ff ff in this order so i will do that 
a class so to create a class i want you to really pay attention to this to create a class you create a class like this so you bring your cursor go to format new style a class starts with dots or full stop or what point or what you call it so you are going to in css it's going to be point cyan so you start a class with dots and that's why we have this and the instruction say yes let's see the instruction yes color of 00 ff ff color so you come to color hashtag 00 ff ff okay let me confirm that 00 ff ff so that is done so just say apply okay let me remove the magnifier um magnifier okay let me remove it okay that is done so you realize that we have edited the style sheet so every other thing there will be deleted so all the inherited one here will be deleted because we have done it in the best way okay good good so that is what we have here so what's the next instruction let's see so the next instruction co correct and complete the style sheets using the information above we have done that place your name center number and candidate number as a comment at the end of the style sheet okay to so put your name at the end you start your name let me bring uh, the magnifier so that we can see properly okay so to put your name in form of comment in style sheet you put four slash asterisk asterisk for four slash okay good then you type in between so your name center number then candidate number so that is that so what is the next thing in the instruction let's see then save this style sheet in your spec html folder with the file name spec style followed by your candidate number for example it should be like this spec style okay so you save it in the same folder save as okay spec style followed by your candidate number underscore candidate number my candidate number is 001.css so save it in there so what is the next instruction take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document make sure that the content are easy to read and that the file name is clearly visible so to do that they are taking a screenshot the other time we took a uh, code but now screenshot for it to you know be fully visible you need to take it clearly so look at what i want to do now i'll take the screen uh and i'm going to take it with the name okay then i call this evidence two or as the case may be or evidence three evidence two then you paste it after you have copied it then you have it right here good what's the next instruction and all this we have done it for 23 max the next instruction open the web page spec web page.htm in a suitable editing package so i'm going to open it spec html spec let me confirm the name spec web page so this spec web page i'm going to click to open it so i have it opened what's the next thing replace the text a candidate zz9999 comma 9999 with your name center number and candidate number so i'm replacing this a candidate 
okay this is replacing with your name candidate number that i've been using has been seen and then i mean center number rather and candidate number zero zero one i've done that what's the next thing attach the style sheet spec style one dot css to this web page okay before i do can i reload this let me save and load this let us see the way it displays before attaching it okay look at the way it looks before attaching it so i have this so the next thing is to attach the star sheet spec star one dot css spec now star one dot css so you come to format css styles attach style sheet browse it spec style one dot css open open then let's save and see the way it looks having attached the style sheet reload okay you can see the way it displays good so what's the next instruction the next instruction is attach the style sheet you edited in step three to your web page so that it has a higher priority than the style sheet so what do we do in step three okay open the style sheet and this and this and this correct and complete using this save the style sheet in your with the founding spec style followed by a candidate number spec style so come to format attach style sheet browse spec style followed by your okay good and that's what we call it okay for you to have higher priority it must be the second one look at the second style sheet attached link this is the first one that was linked so the second one that was linked must be here it must be the one under that is when it has higher priority please take note of that so take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document so we are taking a screenshot showing the content of the last style sheet i just added which is um, spec style your candidate number spec style your candidate number okay spec style your candidate number this is it. the question says take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document remember okay i think that's what i did to take the screenshots and the content and place it in your evidence document okay attach style sheet you edited in step three to your web page so that it has higher than the this which i have done so the next thing is to save the web page so let's reload this after i've attached the second style sheet let me save come here save and let me reload the because i've just attached okay good so that's what i have here so we now have two style sheets and then this is the okay good spec one and spec zero zero one the first one is spec one that we added and this is the second one so we have that what's the next thing to do then use the class created in your style sheet to set the color of the text tawara digital storage to cyan use the class created in your style sheet to set the color of the text Tawara digital storage to cyan so to do that i'm going to use the class created to set the color of the text tawara digital storage so i'm going to look for tawara, tawara digital storage where do i have it tawara digital storage okay here is it so if i want to do that that means from here i'm going to create a class for this tawara so that means i'm going to use a code called span 
اسفان سلام يس اسفان اوكي so this should be at the back of this good so that means whatever i put here will span to affect only this tower digital storage so space class then i pick the class the class in this is cyan so let's save and see save and let's go and reload is for this Tawara digital story let's reload okay you can see that it has affected this Tawara digital storage okay it has changed the color from the yellow it used to be to only this so for this one to span through this so we use span okay good then what's the next instruction use the class created in your style sheet okay that's what we just did now for two marks then place into the appropriate section of the correct web page web development layer metadata to define the character set to utf8 metadata to include your name as the author of the web page metadata to set the keywords to tawara tds dvd and ssd now let me explain this very quickly metadata simply means data about data that is data about a particular tag so if you want to set a metadata for this and data metadata meta tag is usually you know placed within the head section that is why you know we have uh, basically we have about two sections basically in your content layer we have the head section and the body section so the question has asked you to place it in the appropriate section so the appropriate section is within the head section so you are going to use the meta tag so you go use the meta tag so come to the okay, let me use magnifier so that you can see this clearly magnifier so you bring your cursor to anywhere within the head section so look at the head section the S session starts from here and ends here. Anywhere within the S session, you can place the meta tag. So open meta tag. Meta tag. Meta tag 2 is a self closing. Uh, so one of the attributes you use, according, you can use for meta tag. Let's see the instruction. What was the first one? It said metadata to define the character set so the first thing is character set so let's go and set the character set so metadata so this is the first one so press space bar it's going to list all the options so character set you pick this character set car set so what is the what is the question say, saying it says you should set to utf hyphen 8 utf i think eight and that's what i'm going to set it u utf i think eight that's the first meta data the question says you should set another meta data so you open meta it's a self-closing tag good so you want to set the properties of the second meta data so let's see the question the question says you should set it to include your name as the author of the web page so you go back so you press space it's going to show you the options go to n for name and uh, name your name as author as author then another attribute is content see as the con so you specify your name as the author gabriel as the author can you see so we have made use of two attributes name and content for this meta data so the next one let's go to the next instruction so you open under metadata don't forget i told you this is self-closing tag okay good 
so we have that let's see the instruction for that the instruction is that you set the metadata to set the keywords to tawara tds dvd and ssd so to set that keyword so you are going to use the same similar so you use name attribute so name attribute you use it to call it keyword and then content c that will be all those uh, terms given to you tawara tds dvd tawara tawara tds tds dvd what else and let's see the question and ssd and uh, ssd ssd you notice that all these are put within the speech marks so the key meta tags we use are meta tag data set utf okay utf8 that's what the instruction says utf8 that's uh, the one of the coding schemes used with html apart from ascii unicode we use utf-8 then the meta tag for name is auto content is for your name and for keywords we have tawara tds dvd and ssd okay what's the next instruction i think i can remove magnifier now the next instruction is and what we just did is for 10 marks please take notes now replace the text place image here in the web page with the image spec ssd.jpg you edited at step one you know there was a particular image that we edited and we renamed as spec ssd and add appropriate alternate text so spec ssd ssd stand for solid state drive so i go to the code and I locate place image here. I think I was seeing it in design view. Place image here. Okay, this. So I go there. Place image here. You can see it here. Then I replace it with the image, just like I have done in other videos. You pick it. SSD. What's the name of the file? Spec SSD. So you drag it. Spec SSD. Where is okay? Let me let me redo it so that we can see. Control Z. Okay, this place. So we are replacing it. Spec SSD. Okay, I'm going to call it um solid state drive image. Okay, good. I have that. So I'm replacing it with this place image here. So I do this place image here then what's the next thing the question says save the web page save the web page display the web page in your browser take screenshot evidence and place this in your evidence document save the web page so come to file save let us reload and see the way the uh good you can see that good look at the way it displays good so what's the next thing next instruction display it then make sure that all the page can be seen all the text can be easily read the address bar is fully visible the moment you ensure that then you okay before this save the web page display take screenshot evidence and place this in your evidence documents let me quickly get that done my evidence document you may try to resize it whether you can okay take it at once if possible i think this if it can be taken at once you can or twice so look at it i'll take it and ensure that okay the title bar or tab is being visible so i think the screenshots 
and let me place this in my evidence document according to the instruction so that should be placed in evidence document okay let me call that evidence document two place your cursor come to paste and you have that so but you have the remaining part of the web page you have not taken so you go back to take it okay good and you can take it now okay we stop around here good then you paste it good so you can remove you can remove the space here so that um, you have everything yes sir okay good i think this is better so close okay so what's the next instruction let's see the next instruction take a copy of the html source and place this in your evidence document a copy of the so i'm going to make this evidence three evidence three a copy so you go back to your code just like we have done in the past click inside this go to edit go to select all edit again go to copy and come to the evidence document bring your cursor here and click on paste all the code will be pasted and do not edit it so what is the next instruction and then taking a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document all this will give you two marks and a total of 44 for this question so you can see that this question is so simple that you can undo and don't forget this question is called specimen paper Sp specimen paper means that this is the pattern the 2023 questions will follow so 2023 2024 this is the pattern they will follow and that is the benefit of looking at this question you can see that and that is what we we have done here for 44 marks and then very simple so you can see preview your browser again then the evidence document you have taken you are going to print because they are going to mark this all the evidences you have taken will be marked so you can you can just do anything anyhow i think this is evidence three not evidence two evidence three and this last one is evidence four so you have that and you ensure you have put your name center number candidate number and this is what you print and that will be marked so we have come to the end of this question the web authoring part of this question specimen uh question paper if you have any question please you drop it in the comment box and you can like this video and share with other people so that we can learn together so thank you for watching